As always, I love y'all. This is my official Dinner and Blanc experience in Greensboro, North Carolina. Greensboro, North Carolina. What is Dinner and Blanc? It's basically an all-white, fancy, outdoor picnic that me and the crew, A, decided to go to. It's extremely popular. It's worldwide. You wear all white. Get a bunch of friends. Y'all go out. And you're supposed to have a good time. But that didn't necessarily happen. You can arrive to this event in three ways. You can walk, which in my case, I did. It was $61 per person. You meet up with a group leader or a table leader at a destination. Y'all walk there. Yes, they are charging mother the walk. You could go by bike, though. That's going to cost you $73 per person. Or you could go by the bus. That's going to cost you $81. Ooh. You have the option to rent tables as well. If I'm not mistaken, it's $50 per table, which comes with the table, the cloth, and the chairs. You gotta bring your own decor though, or you can bring your own table, your own tablecloth, your own decor, and put all that in your little wagon. You can walk there and set that shit up. Technically, you gotta set it up either way. But who wants to who wants to walk with a with a with a table? You feel what I'm saying? But that's neither here nor there. You have the option to bring your own food, which we did. Or you can buy food from them. They have a catering company that they go through. But when you purchase food from them, it has to be the same thing. For example, you could have purchased a, a, a salmon platter. That was like 60 bucks. You get two salmon platters for you and a guest. You cannot get two different entrees. So if you eat salmon and they don't, you're f you can't bring alcohol. That's 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 a no-go. But you can purchase wine and champagne from them. And on top of all that, you don't find the location that you're going to until the day of. <laughs> wow. Pretty pricey and mind-boggling for a for a picnic, ain't it? Mm -hmm. Let's talk about the inconsistencies, man. The rules are no shorts, no athletic wear. Cool. Me and my crew, we arrived with guess what? Shorts. We clearly didn't read the rules before we left. That is all on us. But when we get there, we see shorts. Shorts, bitch. More shorts. Nikes in this bitch. To the people I recorded wearing shorts, it ain't nothing personal, all right? I'm just pointing out the inconsistencies. That's it. This wouldn't have been that big of a deal if the lady that told us that we couldn't wear shorts wasn't as rude as she was. We got there 15 minutes before the event and she basically said, look, y'all got 15 minutes to get it together, all right? Y'all ain't back in 15 minutes, y'all ain't getting in. I even told him, ma'am, I done spent $500. You got 15 minutes and we ain't waiting. But we ended up making it. We 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 went to City Trends. I walked in and got a pair of pants that wasn't my size. By the grace of God, I could fit it. And we literally hopped back in the car and made it back but nobody could give me a clear-cut answer as to why these people wore shorts and me and my crew was turned away let's talk about the location you would think with the amount of money you pay they'll put you in a decent location nah you would think at the very least they would put us in a safe location nah bruh we in the middle of the fucking street not only are we in the middle of the street we off of summit avenue in greensboro north carolina not only are we off of summit avenue in greensboro north carolina we are not in the best area of summit avenue in greensboro north carolina if you're in or from around greensboro if you know damn it you know so we're finally here we got our table set up we chilling we do a toast all that after that we just sat in silence for about about two hours we literally didn't start eating until eight o'clock oh i was really pissed off about that because i was i was hungry as hell at exactly 8 32 we were told to wave our towels or flags or white cloth whatever you want to call it and to act like we're having a good time for the video you guys enjoy the remainder of your dinner thank you for joining us we truly appreciate your patience and let's thing we're here thank you which now that i look back on it they definitely they definitely played us now that was my vantage point of the night but clearly some people felt differently all right so what's your name janice robinson where are you from i'm originally in wilmington but i have a high school in greensboro all right brother man what's your name what's good sean all right where are you from greensboro and what's your name kim where are you from atlanta georgia all right brother what's your name is darren man darren big baby where are you from north carolina all day how are you doing i am doing great where are you from? i am from Durham, but i live in greensboro what's your name how are you enjoying yourself? On a scale of 1 to 10? 1 to 10, I would say about a 7 just because the music hasn't started yet. Right. But once that starts, it'll elevate. Where's your experience from 1 to 10? Oh, it's a 10 for sure. Your experience here, rated from 1 to 10. 10. Rated from 1 to 10. As of right 10? now. 1 to 10? 1 to 10 as of right 1 to 10? Yeah. i give it a 9, 5. Rated from 1 to 10 as of right now. I'm going to give it a 8. We had a little bit of travel issues in the, in the beginning. But other than that, we doing good now. Rate your experience on a scale of 1 to 10 as of right now. As of right now, I'm going to say it's 8.5. <laughs> Everybody's definition of having fun is totally different. I'm okay with that. At this point, it's 920. We like the sparkles, and guess what? We have 
music. Shout out to the group that performed. This lady right here can sing her ass off. She was accompanied by a, a, a band of brothers that did a great job playing and entertaining the crowd. Appreciate y'all. But by the time they got up there and, and really started performing and got going real good, people were just leaving. I mean, people were just packing up, leaving. Cause we had sat there for, at that point, it's 9.30, we got there at six, three and a half hours that we've been sitting in, basically sitting in silence. Shout out to all the entertainers that did what they could to keep us entertained. From the guy that was wearing the stilts, very talented, to this lady right here. How are you guys? We're doing you just fine. Not really. I thought this was a whole statue. Oh, it's a real person. Whoa. Whole entire person. <laughs> yeah. They got a bouncy house. Everybody seemed to be having fun on that. The basket of a hot air balloon. Yeah. Homie on the unicycle was getting it. To the magician that took my homie's watch. Right. Say roast. Roast. Boast. Boast. Coast. Coast. What do you put in the toaster? A roast. You're put, you're, uh, toast. <laughs> you're gonna put toast in the toaster. Why would you do that? Ready? Watch. Boom. It's gone across. Oh no. Grab it like that. Uh huh. Wave it over my watch. Cameron, this is my watch. This man just took my watch <laughs> off me. <laughs> Still can't believe he didn't. He didn't feel that shit. Y'all all were amazing. Now, if I'm rating my dinner and Blanc experience in Greensboro, North Carolina, I'm giving it a solid. I'm giving it a solid two, man. It sucked. It was horrible. Mid. Waste of money maybe it's better in other areas but in this area this particular dinner blanc won't hit no and i encourage everyone that's watching this video if you've never been to dinner and blanc check it out but if you have been to dinner and blanc tell me about it love y'all